hello guys welcome to the channel if you're a new visitor and welcome back if you are a returning visitor so in this video i'm going to walk us through the futures trading on binance all right so we we'll have the spot trading which i've already done a video on i'll have the futures trading which is the video that we're going to be looking at uh, or more like the the topic we're going to be looking at uh, in this video so i'll assume that you already have an account in binance if you don't have an account i'll put a link in the description so that you can, that's the video of uh, how you can create an account on binance okay so once you create an account on binance this shows up you create and you do your verification processes as your you know your customer and this shows up so on this page all you need to do is just to you know on the spot trading you will go to trade and then you click on spots okay but in this case you need to go to derivatives and you click on usd features okay note this is where you're going to play not the coin and features okay so when you click on the us usd features it loads up so uh, mind you that this interface is similar to what you're going to be seeing also on the spot trading okay on this you just get to see like a, a slight difference in uh, the look and feel of things because uh, the trading pattern is actually different from what you get on on the spot okay so i'm going to do a walkthrough of the interface quickly to make this video as short as precise as possible so uh, first this is the currency pair and of course this is where you can change it and this is where you can search for it and you can start it and of course you know once you're clicking on the start button if you observe on here you see that whatever you been whatever you start is actually showing up on there okay so that's for that this is the current price okay and uh, this is the time frames and you can actually hover on the arrow and then select the other time frames that you want okay so <coughs> so this is the chart i'm going to do a video later on on trading view and trading view is actually a better a more sophisticated uh, platform by which you can draw your analysis before trading so this is your other book same last we'll have on the spot okay and then this is where you set up your trade you scroll down just like we'll have on the spot this is also where your trade records okay so uh i'm going to do a video on comparison between the spot and the features just a rough comparison between them to give you a more detailed uh, idea of the difference of both but one of the things you need to know about future trading is, can, is that you can actually trade at any point in time if i use the word so what it means is that you can buy and you can sell so when the market is going up you are making money when the market is coming down yeah you can actually make money too okay unlike sports whereby you buy at a low price and you sell at a high price but in this case you can buy at a low price and sell at a high price you can enter a trade at a high price and then exit the trade at a low price that's just basically what it means so other things you need to note on on the futures trading is this so this is actually the leverage okay so when you're entering a trade you need to be very careful on this for this is your leverage and it's actually a one to five so when you see x5 it's actually a one to five which means that for example you're entering a trade with let's say 100 usd 100 dollars that means if you enter the trade hundred dollars with this x5 you automatically leveraging 500 dollars so it's as if you're entering a trade with 500 dollars that's what it means okay so this uh, the higher the leverage the riskier it becomes the riskier it becomes you know? and also the more beneficial if i use the word so it's more like at your own risk so trade carefully on there so this is where you can your of course it's on the limit so this is where you can your limit price just like what i explained on the spot so assuming you want to enter a trade at let's say 40k or for 100 or sorry for 1000 you just uh, remove this and make it for 1000 and then depending on the size of the usd you want to enter at, you do it and then you you buy or you sell so let's say i see the red counter i probably think that it's going down maybe you have done your technical analysis and you think that it's going down you sell when you sell you enter my you enter a trade okay so technically if it starts going up you're losing your money and if it starts coming down you're making money 
So that's what it means. And of course, the markets whereby you can enter the market price and the stop limits, which you can also set at. You can also set uh, when you're already on. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> when you're already on a trade. Okay, so this is like a rough overview of the futures trading. Okay, so uh, mind you, I'm not uh, I'm a financial advisor. So when you're trading on this uh, platform, trade carefully and trade at your own risk. Right. So if you find this video helpful, do click on the thumbs up uh, button so that it can actually get to more viewers, people that actually need this kind of video. Okay, and also don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you know when we drop our next video which will likely be on the comparison between the spot trading and the futures trading right so thanks for watching i'll catch you next one cheers <laughs>